I did a thing. And I know what you're thinking, Noelle, what the heck are you doing now? Um, I'm getting into sublimation. Let me explain a little bit. This lovely specimen left me this comment. And ever since, I was opened up to a door, a rabbit hole, if you will, of possibilities with sublimation. I really didn't fall that deep when I decided that, okay, I'm going to do this, but I digress. Sometimes you just got to, you know, say F it. And I went all out and I bought all this in a day. So we're going to do sublimation today. I'm a fixator, so when I decide I want to do something, I go all in, okay? I go all in and I don't stop until I get it right. So we'll see how long this takes. I'm hoping I can get it done today. Today's Saturday. It's usually my day off today, but, and it is. So I'm technically playing, um, but I, should I be doing this instead of restocking everything that I need to restock? Cause I have no cups done, need to restock keychains and all that good stuff. No, I shouldn't probably be doing this, but it's okay. It's fine. I'll work overtime during the week to get it done. I might come in tomorrow on Sunday and get it done. It's it's fine, it's fine. I'm really excited. I'm just gonna give you an overview of what I have here. This is the printer that I got. It's the Epson Ecotake 2850. Um, I heard this is the best one for sublimation. I did approximately two nights of research um, and I decided that this was the best one because everyone, every video that I saw had this. Um, so I got this one. It's really, it's actually pretty affordable too. Uh, if you guys remember, my eco solvent printer that I converted is the ET15000. That one was about retails for $700, and I got it on sale for $600. This one was only um, $249 on sale. I believe it retails for $349. So, again, you know, the signs were there. The signs were there to just get it. You know, it's a, it's a sale. Like, it's meant to be, right? All these goodies on top I got from Amazon, which I will have a whole... Um, new section for everything sublimation that I'm using. So first up, I got the Hippo Sublimation Ink, which I heard is the best one as well. That's why I got this one. Um, so yeah, I got this one off Amazon. I think it was like $40 for a pack of, you know, all the colors that you need. Um, so got that. And then I got, I had to get this bright pink color. Um, I really don't like this pink, but I did see that they had a lighter pink after I ordered this one already. So I don't know, I might return it and get the lighter pink color. Does the color really matter? Yeah, it does actually, it does. I'm, I, why am I kidding myself? It totally matters. If not, I'm gonna cry about it, but yeah. Tape dispenser heat whip for heat transfer tape. Um, I got these little pink heat gloves that actually came with something else. So I'll show you guys that later down the line, but I've got these little pink heat gloves. And then I got the best sublimation paper that I've seen everyone use, which is the A sub sublimation paper. And it's eight and a half by 11, so they're just regular sheets of paper. But yeah, I think this is everything I need to get started. Um, and then I did get phone case blanks, uh, which is gonna be my first project. So I got like these little phone case blanks. Um, so I'm gonna be heat pressing on these. And again, I'll show you everything as I do it, but I think that's everything I need to get started, at least for the phone cases. Um, later down the line, I'm, you know, want to test out like cups and you know some other things like that. Let me unbox this. Let me set it up. I have to make space for this thing too because I have no space in this office, guys. Like I am really outgrowing this office, and I probably need a warehouse soon. So, yeah, let me set it up, make space, all that good stuff, and then we will start trying to make some stuff so let's get to it it is a mess right here i had like a whole photo shoot and stuff yesterday but anyways let me just show you i want to show you kind of what's going to be in the launch um because i haven't shown this yet so i guess we'll start i don't even know where to start okay we'll start here okay i can show you better over here so we have brand new 20 ounce tumblers coming to the shop these are sublimated so um, if you guys remember, I posted a story on my Instagram showing like a sublimation printer. A lot of you guys guessed it right. So yes, I have started sublimation. And so I'm super, super excited as well as this tumbler that is also sublimated. So I'm going to have so much fun with this. You guys, like it's so crazy seeing my art like on a tumbler. That's insane. We've got four different phone cases here. This first one is the Christmas girly phone case. The colors for this came out insane you guys like these are so vibrant these are sublimated um so yeah absolutely insane amazing then we've got the um 
little gnomes. I think it's gonna be called the Gnome Girly. So stinking cute. We've got the Gingerbread Girly. Um, these, this one and the Christmas Girly have like a bunch of matching things that are gonna be in sets. So by the time you guys are watching this video, they might be sold out because there's gonna be very, very limited supply in these. In both of the sets, like the bundles that I'm doing, very, very limited because it's so much um, that goes into it. And then lastly, the Nutcracker Girly. So freaking cute. We've got a magnetic bookmark set. I barely just launched magnetic bookmarks not too long ago, but this is the first time I'm doing a set. Um, and I really, really wanted to do like a little winter collection set because I thought it would be so cute in a little pack. So I only have eight of these made and I don't know if I'm going to restock. It's TBD. Everything is TBD right now because um, I'm one person doing all this. I have limited help. So yeah, we'll have to see how, you know, how it gets. But we've got these and then um, we also have them individually here. So you can see a little bit better how they look. Um, and it is obviously much easier to... What is this extra one? Oh, it's another gingerbread. Okay. So it's obviously much easier to make individual ones than a whole set because I have to print out um, these backings and, you know, put them all on there. So, um, and there's obviously five in each one. So it's much more difficult to make a pack like this. So I also have the individual ones. And also in case anyone doesn't um, like some of them in here, they can just get individual as well. So we have that. And I guess we'll move on here to the sweaters. Uh, this is the Christmas girly sweater. Um, this is everyone's favorite so far along with, well actually I, I've gotten such a great response on all of these, but gnome, <laughs> the gnomes are so cute. I didn't really think I was going to like this because it's not really my style. I don't really like, um, you know, gnomes like that, but these are so stinking cute, you guys. Like they've got, you know, their own little different pattern hat and everything. I made these guys, like I, I drew the um, little patterns for these, but yeah, so stinking cute. All of this is original artwork um, that I spent so much time making all this. Like I'm so proud of it. It's really one of the most proudest collections I have. Um, and then we've got just the little gingerbread girly sweatshirt with the like pink little gingerbread house. And yeah, it's so stinking cute. I should have put a bow. I feel like a bow on her would have been so cute, but it's fine, it's fine. So we've got those, and again, these are gonna be part of the Gingerbread Girly set. There is no set for the gnomes, but there is going to be a set for um, the Christmas Girly. So anything you see that is Christmas Girly is part of the bundle set, as well as anything Gingerbread Girly is part of the bundle set. Now we've got the little nutcrackers. I didn't do too much of these because they were my mom's and my boyfriend's least favorite. So I thought, okay, maybe like other people might not like them as much either, but they're my favorite. I love them so much. Drew these guys from scratch. Like I created these little nutcrackers. So I love them so much. I obviously took different ideas from different nutcrackers and like put them all together, but I'm really proud of this. Like I worked so hard on these guys, um, but it's not everyone's cup of tea and that's totally okay. So. We've got that, and then we've got these guys in a mug as well. They're so cute. I wanted to do like a little like sweatshirt design that said like, what's cracking girlies or something like that, but um, I also made them like holding a Stanley tumbler and um, having their little Lululemon bag, you know, the viral little bag that everyone wears. Yeah, I had them wearing that, but I don't know. I feel like it didn't flow as well with the rest of the collection, so. And then the Christmas girly mug. Here she is, um, and it was so hard to take product photos of these because obviously it's like a different wrap all around, like it's different designs all around, so it was really hard to take product photos of these, but it's fine, it's all good. And then we've got the Gingerbread Girly 16 ounce cup. Love that. And the matching mug, again, this was pretty difficult to take pictures of. It's different all around, um, but yeah, we got that. And then I believe lastly, we've got the uh, Christmas Girly 16 ounce cup. So yeah, that is the Christmas collection. Well, that's the winter collection. I don't wanna say Christmas because a lot of people don't celebrate Christmas. Um, and also like there's a lot of different um, just winter designs in general. Like I feel like sm snowman's like general winter, gingerbread cookies are, you know, um, winter sweaters like a winter so I don't want to say Christmas um, just to be mindful of other people that don't really celebrate it and stuff so it's the winter collection 
but yeah guys I also wanted to show you my packaging let me clean all this up so for packaging I went with the gingerbread design so we've got like cute little gingerbreads because of course it's pink it matches perfectly so we've got the pink tape I, I honestly kind of regret not doing gingerbread stickers. I did the house. I don't know why. Um, I just kind of felt like because the bags all have gingerbread, um, like the little cookies, I thought the house would add like a little something extra, but I kind of regret it now, but it's fine. They're still cute. I just feel like the little gingerbread cookie would have been better. It's fine. She's fine. And then we've got 10 by 13 bags and the matching bags down here, which are bigger size let's see these are i always forget 14 and a half by 19. so that's what i've got going on for packaging um i didn't change my thank you cards just because i have so many right now that i didn't feel it was necessary to order more right at the moment that's what i've got going on for packaging i need to edit my borders and everything not my borders i need my my banners i need to edit my banners and everything and get ready because it's already 8 59 so we're literally an hour away i'm really really nervous guys um i've never filmed on a launch day before and i think you can see why because i just like stress myself out but i feel like this one is a little bit worse um because i have never done a collection this big and so it's like really nerve-wracking but anyways um i just had to fix this and add the um, collection here um, but I had mostly everything prepared, which I'm proud of myself for. I usually leave things like last minute. And I did have some things that were kind of last minute, but for the most part, it was pretty good timing. This is going to be the banner and it just says shop the winter collection. I really have been liking like this minimal banner style and I did the same thing for the fall collection. I just feel like it's very to the point and it just shows you exactly what you're looking for kind of thing. We'll talk a little bit more when it's almost time and I will see you soon. So the collection just went live. It's 10.02 right now and I'm gonna go and post everything on like all my social medias and stuff and my email just went out I believe yeah so oh just got our first order that's so cool okay so um our I just I scheduled an email to show the new products and everything in the winter collection and it's all here so yeah I also made sure to include like the new um phone cases and the Stanley Tumber. Okay, second order. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And what was I gonna do? Oh my god, I'm so scattered, you guys. Like, this is probably one of the most craziest. I mean, it's the biggest launch I've ever done, so I'm like, you know, bugging a little bit. But, anyways, what was I gonna do? I'm gonna post everything. Okay, so I need to go to Canva. I downloaded like a little, I mean, I made a little, what's it called? I made a little, like, hold on. Oh third order i made a little uh collage type thing for my instagram story so i don't know if you can see that um so i'm going to put that on my instagram story to let everyone know that the collection's up and running let's see how many people are on the site um let's see oh there's 37 visitors right now let's see you can see everyone's on the site right now. The eight. Oh, just got another order. Um, two of those orders were from earlier, so we're at four orders right now, I believe. And this is a very like just like raw footage of what I do on launch days. It's just like freak out basically. So oh, just got another order, or I don't know if that was the one from before. Um, okay. Oh, okay, so that was the one from now. <laughs> That's crazy, you guys. It's going so well. Okay, the winter launch is now live. I have to see what people are ordering because I am going to be limiting um, some of the bundles, like I said uh, earlier, because each box has five products that I need to make. And imagine, like, I get 10 orders for those boxes. That's 50 products, so that's a little insane for me, and I don't want to over, you know, overwhelm myself, but... Yeah, so I have to monitor that and make sure that it's not like going too crazy. So that's what I'm going to post on my story. So we'll post that. And let's post all our drafts. I have everything ready. I had already like I have drafts ready for all my channels. So we'll do that and on my channels, my page and my social medias. So we're going to post on Instagram. We'll get that out of the way. Oh, another order 
So we've got another order, it looks like. I don't know if that's now or what. I just, I cannot, yeah, it's now. It's now. Okay, so that posted. We got, we still got TikTok. Okay, let's see what people are ordering. So we've got uh, Madeline. If you're watching, she is the sweetest girl ever. Like, this is her 12th order with me, you guys. Madeline, she has her own little business, actually. Her name is... Um, blissful body care we got another order thank you so much um please check her out her let me make sure i want to make sure like i get her exact um tag right because she just is always so supportive of me this is her instagram please go check her out she's i believe yeah she's 15 years old you guys she's 15 years old and she has her own business like Make sure you check her out. She is just the sweetest girl ever. She always is so supportive and she orders on all my launches. So please go check her out. So, so sweet. Okay, so let's see what people are ordering. Okay, we just got another order, it looks like. Yep, there we go. Oh my gosh, you guys. I never got this many orders so fast. I'm gonna start writing everything down. Um, that way I can start kind of um, making sure everything is ready. I'm also gonna print some shipping labels that I need to pack today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get working. Okay guys, so right now I'm working on making some mugs um, I'm doing the little gingerbread girly mugs here. I forgot to update you guys um, Because I still had you know orders from earlier the week earlier in the week and stuff So I had to get to work. I was very very busy that day. I couldn't even post a video last week I'm so sorry guys, but um launch went amazing. I think we got like over 50 orders um, just that day, which was crazy um, and so I'm I'm working overtime. I had to work the weekend and everything this time around I was a lot more prepared. I don't know if you guys noticed with this launch I don't know if you guys like, you know went to check it out or anything, but this is the first time I've ever done a launch with all um, Like sticker vinyl cup wraps. So if you guys don't know I make these wraps with um, What's called these are this is sticker paper vinyl and then on top of it is a waterproof laminate and I have to say these actually hold up so well incredibly well um i actually did a cup and i messed up um so i tried to peel one of these off and i was it like left a lot of residue on the cup like these things are on there really really solid and i was genuinely surprised i haven't actually tried to remove them i've been doing like wash tests and things like that but i don't purposely try to remove it you know because that's like defeats the purpose of the cup um so i had to remove it the other day to restart a cup because i messed one up and it left so much residue it was a nightmare to clean up i had to use rubbing alcohol and even that was giving me problems so i was i'm very very surprised at the quality of these like usually vinyl like it will not move for example like permanent adhesive vinyl will not move or anything um you wash it you 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 know you dry it whatever like it won't move right but if you try to peel it it will come off fairly easy um so as long as you don't you know intentionally try to peel it it should last forever but this one if you try to peel it it won't come off you guys like i was so genuinely surprised so i'll show you guys how i make these it's very very easy it's literally just um printable sticker vinyl and then a waterproof laminate um so i also have that supplies linked in my amazon favorites if you want to check it out as well as all of the sublimation supplies that i'm going to be using so i know we have so much to catch up on so i'm so so sorry it's been like i said just absolutely chaotic um and i couldn't even post a video last week and i was planning to you know kind of announce the whole sublimation and all that but you know life just kind of took over and it was just so chaotic i just wanted to catch up with you guys a little bit i actually haven't even done a like a, a vlog in so long so it's kind of nice coming back here and just like giving you guys like a bunch of updates and all that so yeah that's what we've got going on and I hope we can get a little bit into sublimation with it with this video. I can't promise anything though, but hopefully we can get a little bit into that. I do want to show you guys a, like a bunch of behind the scenes and all that. So I'm about to start laminating my cup wraps, and I thought I'd just show you how I do it. Um, I'll do like a more in-depth tutorial. This is just kind of like a quick summary. So this is uh, this is printable sticker vinyl. This is a laminating sheet, and these are both by HTV Rot really great brand um i'm not being paid to say that at all i just really really like their stuff good quality um but if they want to sponsor me that'd be great all of these supplies will be linked in the amazon favorites basically i just print my design and this is like one of the tedious things but once you get the hang of it it's pretty easy but the gist of it 
is to just basically kind of measure the design. I like to leave a little wiggle room, so I'm just going to cut and I think that should be good. But what I like to do here to get it as even as possible and um, again this is just like what I like to do I like to put something heavy in the middle so that my position doesn't move um, my placement doesn't move I mean um, and so I like to put something heavy in the middle this is a very important step if you're using a silhouette cameo 4 but regardless of what cutting machine you're going to use I think you should do this step anyway um, it doesn't take that much time and it's going to just be basically ensure that nothing gets in the way of your re registration marks. For my Silhouette Cameo 4, I've tried this before with laminating sheets covering the registration marks and won't register when it does, it cuts totally off so I don't know, maybe that's just my machine but better to be safe than sorry. I like to just snip off the corners like that just to ensure that nothing is going to get away, get in the way of this registration. Um, and that's just, again, just to be safe. You don't have to do this, but it really doesn't take that much extra time. And it's just better to be safe than sorry. So I just like to snip the corners off. Note to self, this thing does not move. So it, it's not like a sticker. It's it's a it's a like self-adhesive laminate. So it will it sticks like a it won't come off. It's like industrial glue. I don't even know what this thing is made out of. But once you put it on, it's not coming off. So the way I like to do this is very slowly and carefully um, and as you go, as you get better at it, you can, you know, kind of speed it up, whatever, but to start off, I would definitely recommend going very slow. So what I like to do is just peel um, just like the tip of the, the laminate, just like peel that and then I like to just, honestly, that's how much I will lift it up. It's like probably about an inch and a half, maybe two inches at most. And then I will fold back this paper, the uh, backing paper, I'll fold that back. And then I will just place that down just to get like the edge um, on there. Oh, just got an order. And now I can remove the weight because it's already um, adhered down here. And then you slowly start peeling it back. Work in small sections. I'm telling you guys, if you don't, if you do this too fast, you might get bubbles underneath and you can't move them and it's going to ruin some of your, um, some of your design. So slowly just start pushing it back just like that. That's all you're going to do. Again, work in small sections, work in very small sections. And then once you get good, you can kind of like lift a little bit more and just kind of like um, push as you go but I don't recommend that if you're barely starting out with these then you almost want to just like let this do the pushing put it on my mat to cut and I use kiss cut settings um, so that I basically just weed the excess like butter okay guys it's the next day now um, and I had to cut it short yesterday because I was just so busy um, working and everything so we are back today and I have this stack of uh, transfers here that I already um, weeded, like printed, cut, and weeded. I've got to do all these cups right here. I don't know if you can see, but there's like about 20 right here. So I've got to do those, and then I've got my, my transfers printing here. Um, we've got about, I think, eight pages that are going to be printing, and I'm going to be multitasking, cutting these as I... yesterday I got done all these cups I'm still waiting on more mugs to come in so this should all be full it might even be stacked um, and then I did all these tumblers over the weekend so I did end up working 
a little bit on the weekend over uh, after my launch because I had so much to do and my boyfriend helped me with these so that was a huge help. We've also got some Christmas girly tumblers and these actually come with the tumblers, um, these boxes and I really like them because there's like a little window and I think it looks so cute. And then I've got some more 16 ounces down here that um, actually these should be next to the Christmas girly stuff and again I am waiting on some more cups um, specifically mugs because I've got a bunch of mugs to make for these two designs um, and so that's what we're waiting on now but in the meantime we're going to start working on some phone cases so let's go do that I've got my little heat transfer tape here um, this little like dispenser sucks I really don't like it um, but for now it's fine I'm only using the like little side piece right here um, until I get a new one so that's what we're doing. And then I've got a bunch of my sublimation um, phone case uh, pages here ready to just put them on here. Just tape it around the edges like that and now it's going to be ready to press. So I'll just set this off to the side and keep doing the same thing all over. So now we've got a 12 Pro Max. And I just take it out of the baggie. And it's got the little plate here. Yeah, these are super, super easy to make, you guys. Like, piece of cake. And they're so fun. Like, these, it's so fun how vibrant they come out and everything. Like, this is what the little gnome design is going to look like. It's so cute. So we're just going to prepare all of these. And then I will see you guys at the heat press. Now I'm going to start putting these on there on the actual case so I'll show you what that looks like now. Peel this off like that and then you stick it on. So I have to be very careful because this adhesive is very very strong and once it's on there it is not coming off so that's Oh my god, that is so cute. It's so small. I'll have my bags that I'm going to be pack packaging them in just yet. They're coming today. Um, so I normally will have... I printed out a bunch of these little um, stickers that have like... I don't know if it can focus. Let's see. You guys see that? There we go. Okay. So I don't know if you can see. It has like the different options. So this one's for the 15. So I'll stick this on the packaging. And then I'll just mark off if it's just like a basic 15, a plus, a pro, or a pro max. Um, and so I just made these really quickly yesterday. So these are going to be sticking. These are what I'm going to be sticking on the packaging. I'm going to finish up here. And then I will catch up with you guys when I'm moving on to pressing apparel. Okay guys, so this is all the apparel that I have to press right now. And I still have more coming, but I think this is about 20 or so. Um, so this is what I'm going to do for now. And then I'll leave the rest that are coming um, for tomorrow because this is just so much. So let's just try to get through this. Okay, so we're going to be starting off with the gnomes and I've got them already here ready to press. So let's get to it.
Okay, so the bags actually ended up getting delivered just right now. It was perfect timing. Now I can show you how I want to package these. Um, this is like my first time testing it out. And I actually really like it. So here's what it looks like. Um, this is a Pro Max, a 12 Pro Max. So it fits that perfectly, literally like right at the brim. Um, and then I just have that little sticker that I put to mark what kind of um, phone it is. Um, and then hopefully, yeah, that's on there. That's on there. It's not going to smear. So that's perfect. Um, and so, yeah, that's what they look like. It, and I think it looks so cute. I really love like the little window. I was going to go for like just plain clear bags, but I thought the pink added something. And I'm so glad that I ended up going with the pink because it looks so cute. So let's package some more of these so I can show you. These guys are minis. These ones are going to look a little bit silly. Not silly, but not as nice as the other ones because the bag is a little bit bigger so cute and now we're going to get the 13 and put those on so we'll check that off as mini iphone 13 mini how cute is that and then do the same thing here awesome oh my god they look so cute i finished packaging them i think there's about like 20 or something cases here um and i discovered that the regular like phones just like the basic 13 14 15 um and the pros look the best in this little package like it fits the window perfectly um versus like the pro maxes and the large cases you can see the difference um obviously these fit much nicer this is a 13 and this is a 15 plus so that's the difference but it's okay I really really love the packaging for these so really excited about that okay guys so that's gonna do it for this video i wish i could have made this longer but it would have been like hours long next week's video though is gonna have a ton of sublimation and tutorials and things like that so make sure to stay tuned for that don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video make sure to subscribe and check out my tiktok and instagram for more content and i will see you in the next one